Yay, it's episode three of my design vlog. Yay! So, so far, we've talked about getting a color story together and picking out shapes that I like and, you know, thinking about textures and thinking about things that I wanted to bring to the table with my design collection. But, I mean, it's, it's more than just making yellow dresses with blue accents or blue dresses with, you know, gray accents or, or a gray suit with a blue shirt. Like, there, there has to be something there. And so for a while I kind of stalled out because I didn't really have inspiration. You know, I knew I wanted to make a collection and I knew I wanted to, to really accomplish something with it. But I really, I didn't know what the story was except for these are things that I would like to wear, which is boring because no one cares what I would like to wear. But then um, I was talking to my friend Colin. My friend Colin and I went out and we were talking about our favorite books, I think is how it came up. And he told me about um, this fairy tale by Oscar Wilde. He likes Oscar Wilde. And um, it's called The Nightingale and the Rose. And I guess in, in summary, it's about uh, this guy wants to take a girl to a dance and she says that she'll only go with him if he brings her a red rose and this nightingale overhears it. She's a hopeless romantic. And she's like, I'm going to find this rose for this boy. And she goes from rosebush to rosebush. They're all like, no dice. I make yellow roses or I don't make any roses or I only make pink roses. And finally, she finds a rosebush that will give her a red rose. But she has to sing for the rose and she has to clutch a thorn to her, her chest while she sings. And it's, it's, uh... Basically, how it ends is this this nightingale, you know, has has this thorn that she's been clutching to her, her chest and she's been singing. And so in the morning, there's this red rose and this dead nightingale. And the guy finds this rose and, you know, snips off the rose and takes it to the girl. And the girl's like, I got a piece, you know, like I, you know, I know I told you that I was going to go to the dance with you if I got a rose. However, this guy just bought me jewelry. So I'm going to go to the dance with him. And the guy's like, oh, I'm not saying he throws the rose in the gutter. And it's it's a bitter, you know, it's it's totally a weird twist ending, and it's very Oscar Wilde at the end. But the story, oh, God, Colin's telling me the story, and I'm just crying, right? Because it's the saddest story that I've ever heard. And at the time, you know, I'm sure I've heard sadder stories, but I'm just, my heart's breaking. And um, so the next day, I went out and I got the book um, with the story in it. I reread the story, and then I read it again. And then I read it again, and it wrested me from my 20-something apathy, you know, and I, and it moved me emotionally, and so I was like, there's something here, there's, there's something that I can channel into my collection here, I can, I can read this story and pull out elements of it, and that can be my inspiration, because clearly I feel an emotional connection to it. So I went online and started researching the time of Oscar Wilde, and I found a bunch of pictures. And I wrote a list of design elements that I kept finding. Um, bustles, back details. Be, the skirts would be flat in the front, but really voluminous in the back. And I made a list of all these design elements. Then I made a mind map, sort of, of the story. And the themes that the story brought to the table, design-wise. Um, the kids are in school, so there's suiting, there's probably uniforms involved, there's structure it's a romantic story so there's you know we can bring in like ruffles and sheer fabrics and i mean not in a trashy way but we can be romantic i went and found pictures online of the fashion and so i'm bringing in elements of you know these these jackets you know there's no lapels there's no you know there's no boxy shapes they're very feminine they're very fitted um, there's pleats going on, there's also draping going on, there's all these skirts in this one picture have horizontal elements going across the skirt, which I think is really important to bring that in, because I think that's really interesting in particular to that time. So that's where I am design-wise, I found my inspiration, so now I'm starting to sketch the next, um, the next move, I suppose, is to find patterns with the design elements that I need because I don't know how to draft my own patterns. So I'll have to Frankenstein patterns together. And um, 
which I'm fine with because that's how I operate. And then I guess buying some fabric, starting to cut. So stay tuned for that. This has been episode three. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.